I was you know, always doodling in class, of course, and I think maybe when I was in fourth or fifth grade, graffiti and tagging became wildly popular in the neighborhood that I grew up in. And there's a lot of obsessive style writing that's involved, and it's very repetitious. So doing that for many years influenced how I paint, basically. It's improvised abstract painting, somewhere between like traditional abstract art and wild style graffiti. In 2013, we kicked off the Wabash Arts Corridor, and at the heart of the ideas is this. Here we are, one of the greatest concentrations of educational and cultural institutions of not just in Chicago, but in the country. But you would walk down Wabash Avenue, and it would have an empty feel to it. Bare walls, ugly fences, these empty walls needed to come to life with, with great authentic art. We are now the greatest concentration of street art in the city, and we've become a destination. When Columbia College and the Wabash Arts Corridor approached us, we thought it would be a perfect partnership. We have branded the building to be a place where innovative people live, and it's just it was the perfect fit. To my knowledge, 1001 South State is the first large, important new building. It's bringing authentic street art onto the fabric of its building. It's a stunning development. 1001 State uh, is definitely the biggest project I've ever done, and being in the vicinity of all the internationally famous artists is not lost on me. It's a great motivation, and it kind of is validating all the work I put in. I'm honored that I'm one of the few Chicago artists who are able to participate. Justice Rowe is, is a very special artist. As I was trying to get the right artist for 1001 South State, it was just obvious this is the guy. Street artists typically don't get new, fresh, perfectly formed walls. He's the kind of artist where the perfection of the wall fits the approaching perfection of, of his visual work. It's almost like his work was made to be on this wall. When Justice showed us the first renderings of what he was proposing, we were so pleased because it was very vibrant and colorful. All the pieces I've done are kind of similar aesthetically and I kind of look at each one as an extension of the last, but it's definitely informed and influenced by the location, the environment, the interactions. It's meant a lot for Gallup to put their faith in me to uh, do this project on a brand new building that's gonna be a signature building for the South Loop. 1001 South State is a 40-story, 397-unit luxury high-rise rental property that is located right in the heart of the South Loop. And it has all the amenities that you would expect in a new residential high-rise building. Some of the more creative and tech-forward amenities. We've built in a co-working space and conference room with a digital interactive whiteboard, a maker space, which is an area where people can come and create things. We have one gigabyte internet speed. Having a piece downtown is huge, and in the South Loop is even better, because it is where I went to school. It's, I've spent a lot of time in this area, so I've seen it change and develop and grow. Being a part of the Wabash Arts Corridor makes it feel like we've been initiated into the neighborhood, and we're so excited to show this art on our building.